Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about adjunct resources. So if you're a full-time faculty member, this may not be as applicable to you, but um, I want to share a little bit about uh, my journey as an adjunct to full-time faculty member, and then also about some adjunct faculty resources. I first started teaching, like a lot of people do, as a graduate student. Um, however, I was a master's level graduate student because I did a master's degree first. And I did that out at Cal State San Bernardino, and I had an opportunity to take a teaching of psychology class as part of my grad work there. And I really do credit that with my love of teaching in higher education, because up until that point, I really did think I was going to do a lot more research work and that I was not particularly interested in doing a lot of teaching. And with that class, I gained a lot of skills on how to set up a syllabus, how to set up a lecture, how to backwards design a class, and I found it incredibly helpful. I was able to go on and be an adjunct instructor there for a little while, and then my husband's job moved us to Los Angeles proper, and I, after a year of unemployment, got a job teaching three classes, or two classes in a lab at Mount St. Mary's. And it was a complete last minute hire, end of December for a start date in January, and it was a crazy time preparing and a crazy first semester but I certainly did love it. And I loved it as much as I thought I would love it in that very first class when I was learning about teaching in higher education. Now across my experiences at Cal State and at Mount St. Mary's as an adjunct, I found out that a lot of people are not ever taught how to teach in higher education. And I didn't realize how special and unique my program at Cal State San Bernardino had been to do that for me. And because of that, I started to try and figure out other resources that I could point other colleagues to and just to be able to have somewhere to vent or have somewhere to see if what I was experiencing was normal or if it was unusual or, or to do when I wasn't comfortable with reaching out to certain people. And that place that I found was something called Adjunct Nation. Now, this is a little bit of a cheeky recommendation because a lot of what's on here is, it is honest, is probably the most polite way of saying it. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a great resource. If you're looking for some place to connect with other adjuncts and try and find out stuff about adjunct rights and responsibilities and such, this can be a really great site and I'll, I'll link it below because I know there's no way that this is kind of going to come up well. It's got a horrible glare on it. Um, but again, like I said, I'll link it below. This does have some stuff that is member specific. Uh, so you would have to be a member to be part of it. Um, but if you're not interested in becoming a member, I think their blogs are great. Um, they have ones that are really specific to different types of adjunct work. And additionally, they've got some that are kind of like McSweeney's that are really cheeky. So depending on how your humor runs, uh, you will either find these horrifying or utterly relatable. I, I'm not quite sure how every individual will receive it, but I, I found them really kind of interesting and fun to, to be a part of. But that being said, like I said, it's got resources that are really specific to just adjunct needs, which is nice because I find that other publications like The Chronicle and such is really geared just really the majority towards full-time tenured faculty lines. And so I think having some sort of place where everybody's in the same position and everybody's able to have the same concerns or similar concerns is really nice. So that was a resource that I fully enjoyed as an adjunct and I hope that you will possibly enjoy if you're an adjunct as well. If you have any questions about teaching across programs as an adjunct or additional teaching opportunities, perhaps at Mount St. Mary's, Come and chat with me. Um, I always love to hear what people are doing and what sort of opportunities people are looking for. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.